Oh, look at this. We've got fire. We're looking at a new video made by Emil the Blessed. He's made another deck deck video, this time about Machine Head. It's always a joy to look at his videos. He made one before here on the channel. Okay, we're going into a jungle. So Machine Head is a deck full of heavy creatures that you want to play out early. Like you really want to put full pressure on your opponent. It's got, I believe, all five colors represented. So the mana base is quite a challenge. And it plays a lot of the black heavy hitters. There we go, Sengir Vampire. And of course, Birds of Paradise, you need a play set. That's very important. If you want to disrupt this deck, go for the birds, definitely. So we got the birds, we've got the Sengirs, but we also have, I believe, Juzums in here. There we go, the Juzum, Jin, a play set of those. And Solkanar, I love that card. Solkanar, quite good, that 5-5 five, five for 5. It looks like the Abyss, of course, being a problem for this deck. However, he's also playing with White. Oh, look at that, Berserks. I can see these Berserks work in here. Put that on a Juzam, deal 10 trample damage. And remember, you can ram them out early. Talking about ramp, we've got Dark Rituals here. Full playset as well, wow. So, I mean, Machine Head here is gonna go fully on just getting those big creatures out. Remember, playset of Juzams, playset of Sengir Vampires. So a lot of pressure. Look at this, Swords to Plowshares, Disenchants. Only two Disenchants, that surprises me a little. Because that card is so versatile. But of course, I guess we're going to see two more in the sideboard. Oh, where are we going to go now? Into a temple! This video is beautifully made, Emil, by the way. Wow. There we've got some restricted cards. Balance, Brain Geyser, Regrowth. I find Brain Guys are always kind of a tough one because of the double blue, but it's so good, so I get it that you play it. You just need to keep the uh, birds alive. We're gonna go deeper into the jungle. This reminds me a little bit of my trip to Suriname and the Suriname River. Oh, what's happening? Everything's burning. There we go. Demonic Tutor, Wheel of Fortune. One Disintegrate, I like that One Disintegrate. I think that's one of those cards that can finish the game for you. And of course, with your Tutor, it's easier to look up all these Silver Bullets. We're gonna go up here, Chaos Orb, Soul Ring, Sylvan Library, just a single one again. So a lot of single copies in this deck as well, which keeps your deck versatile. I personally really like all those single copies. What's there on that altar? Do we see the Power 9? Yes, we do. The entire Power 9 is in this deck. I mean, this deck is definitely not for the budget brewers among us. Wow. The mana base. This is important, right? This mana base is important. So a play set of City of Brass, which can be quite tough, right? Because you're already playing and Sylvan and Jews and Jin, so you're hurting yourself. So you want to have quick games with this deck. Ooh, Solar Eclipse is upon us. We're going into the darkness. What is next? Are we going to have a look at the sideboard, perhaps? We've got a full moon. Oh, this is the entire deck, just the overview. Okay, this is really gonna help us. Again, like I said, only two disenchants. That surprises me a little. So I wonder what the sideboard's gonna look like. But wow, what a strong list. All those restricted cards, the full power nine. I think that the mana base, that's maybe the problematic thing, right? You need those birds of paradise and if they die, and of course you're gonna inflict a lot of pain on yourself. Here we see the sideboard, by the way. Yeah, there are the extra disenchants, that makes absolute sense. We see Suchis against the Abyss, Underworld Dreams, also a really good card against control decks. Single Armageddon in the sideboard as well, yeah, just, just a very strong list. And I want to say thank you, Emil. Oh, we've got more. What is this? Ooh, <laughs> okay, we get some social links. They have to say, Emil, I really enjoy... Uh, 
enjoy these videos. You put so much time and effort into it and it's beautiful. And I know that you've had a pretty good result with, um, with Machine Head as well. There's actually a really good blog that he wrote about Machine Head. So if you want to see that, um, check out the description below. I'll put a link there to his um, blog post about Machine Head and you can read all about it uh, for now. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave a comment, a like and share it on your socials. Also, let me know in the comments below if you're enjoying this uh, from Emil, because I can always ask him to make more. I can do that. <laughs> he, he, he needs to have the time, of course. But so let me know in the comments if you're excited about this stuff. You know, I can ask him to make more. For now, thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Somebody can see.